Namo Buddhaya. Dear meritorious devotees and my dear children, when we come to this human world, we had to live with this human population. And also, we have to deal with these humans. So when we are dealing and when we are living with these humans, we will see so many good qualities and as well as bad qualities of humans. So when we take the people around us, when we take the people around who are living with us, we can find so many good qualities and bad qualities. But the problem with us is we are programmed and we have practiced to see always the faults of people, the dark side of people, the evil qualities of people. The more we see the dark and the bad qualities of people, we will get angry. Sometimes we may hold on to resentment. Sometimes we may become jealous. So these evil thoughts may come into our mind when we deal with humans and when we see the dark and the evil qualities of humans. Our great teacher Supreme Buddha advised us that you should always focus on the good of the people. You should train your mind to see the bright side of the people. So, our great teacher Supreme Buddha described there are five types of people in this world. The first type of people is the people who do good but they speak evil words. Now in the society, we may find such people. They do so many good things with their body. They may not kill animals. They may save the lives of animals. And they do so many things, so many good things with their body. But their words are bad. What they speak is very bad. So we may find such people. Supreme Buddha advised us that you should always focus on that good quality. You can focus on that good physical actions and you can control the anger upon them. That is the first type of people. Here comes the second type. Supreme Buddha said, there are people who do evil things, but they speak good words. They may kill animals, they may uh, commit se sexual misconduct, they may steal the uh, people's possessions, but they speak good words. They may never tell a lie. They may never say any angry words from their mouth. So what you have to do is, you can focus on that good verbal action, good words, and you can control the anger. When you are contemplating on the bright side of people, you will always be kind to them and you will never be angry with them. So that is the second type. Here comes the third type of people. There are people who do evil things as well as who speak evil things. But eventually, by time to time, they may do some meritorious things. You can find such people. Sometimes, very rarely, they may go to temples and they observe precepts and do, they do some offerings and they do some good things. But it is very rare. Supreme Buddha advised that you should focus on that good quality. You can control your anger by contemplating on that person's good quality. What is that? Oh, they are making, they are doing some good deeds, meritorious things, eventually. Then you can control that anger. That is the third type of people. Here comes the fourth type of people. There are people who never do good things from their body as well as from their words, and they never do any good deed in their life. 
it is very hard to find a good quality of that person. Supreme Buddha advised us, if you meet such a person, what you have to do is, you have to focus your mind for the compassion. You can be compassionate to them and you can feel pity about them. You can think, oh, this poor person, poor thing, he is committing evil things. Eventually, he will get the result of this karma. He will find the consequences of these evil deeds. Then you can feel compassionate about them. But never, ever be angry with them. That is what our great teacher Supreme Buddha advised. It is the fourth type and here comes the fifth type. Supreme Buddha said, you will find people who do good as well as they speak good and they are very meritorious. We will find people who are filled with good qualities. Then what you have to do, you have to focus on these good qualities which are abundant and clearly seen in them. When you see such people, when you deal with such people, it is very easy to contemplate on the good qualities of people. Dear devotees and my dear children, always remember, never find a fault of a person, never judge a person because we don't know what is the real story of their life? Sometimes they may act in anger, they may act in the way that we don't like, but sometimes they may have a bad day. Sometimes they, all of their days are bad. So what we have to do, we have to focus on a good quality of that person. When we focus on a good quality, we will never get angry. We will never get upset with the person. And it is very easy to deal with humans when we are contemplating on the bright side of people. So, when you are living in this society, don't judge people. Don't find the faults of people. Always focus on the bright side of the people. And when it takes to your personal life, you have to focus on your bright side. Sometimes we may have faults, we may have bad qualities. The problem with us is when we find, when we see such bad qualities within ourselves, we become sad, we become depressed, we become mentally down because we think, oh, I will never get rid of these bad qualities any day. No, you can't do that. You can escape from these bad qualities and you can develop good habits, good qualities. So what you have to do is, you have to think and you have to focus on your bright side. You may have good qualities. Now all of us have good qualities. So what you have to do, you have to focus on those good qualities. The more you focus on the bright side of your life as well as in the others, you will be happy, you can live freely and also you will get the opportunity to develop holes and qualities in your mind. So I wish you all by contemplating on the bright side of the people and as well as you, may you have a happy and wonderful life in this world. Namo Buddhaya Teruvan Saranai.